<laughs> Greetings, fellow Euchers. A bunch of you have been asking me lately how to do this pick strum pattern thing that I do. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, well, let me just do it for you first. That's it. That's what I do. So let me show you how I, how I do that. So first of all, all I'm doing, the left hand is holding a chord and the right hand is doing a pattern. And it's the same pattern every single time. And in fact, the pattern that my fingers are doing is kind of the same thing twice in each time through. So. I'm doing thumb, middle, index. I'm only using these first three fingers. Some finger picking patterns also use the ring finger. Mine does not. It uses only these three. It's very simple. And it's always thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index. That's it. So it's the same thing twice. Thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index. Now, what strings are they hitting? The thumb operates two strings. The first time through that thumb, middle, index, it's hitting the or string, which is your low string or G string. This is a low G uke, by the way. If you have a high G uke, I'll show you that in a second. It'll look a little, sound a little different. It'll look the same. It'll sound different. Um, so thumb hits the four string the first time, and the three string or the G string, if you uh, C string, sorry, if you're tuned G C E A, four string is the G string. If they're numbered from the bottom, A E C G. One, two, three, four. So four string is the G string, the three string is the C string. The first time, the first half of the pattern, my thumb is hitting the four string or the G, and the second half of the pattern is hitting the C. Both times, my middle finger is hitting the one string, and the index finger, index finger follows it with the two string. So it's always middle index one two A E. So those two fingers are always doing the same thing. The thumb is alternating between the four string and the three string. So it goes like this. It goes thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index, thumb, middle, index. And so I'm first hitting, let me do it in a straight rhythm for you too. One, two, three, two, two, three. Thumb, middle, index, 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 thumb, middle, index. And the strings are four, one, two, three, one, two. Four, one, two, three, one, two, four, one, two, three, one, two. G A E C A E G A E C A E. Four, one, two, three, one, two. The middle index, the middle index. That's it. That's the whole pattern. I'm saying, I'm telling you different things that are happening. <laughs> Which string it is? What number string? What finger? But that's that's all that it is. It's got six plucks or picks in the pattern. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing there. Now, I'm doing that in a nice straight rhythm right now, and there are six plucks in the pattern. So that would fit something in three, right? So if you were playing a song that had a waltz feel to it or a triplet feel, bum, 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 bum. That's a nice even rhythm for a, for a three uh, a song that has a three feel to it. For a song that has a four feel to it, which is most songs, I do a syncopated rhythm. And the rhythm I do is the same exact rhythm as uh, the down, down, up, up, down, up strum, which many of you know. Um, it's usually, that is one of the most common strums that people learn. It's used in a lot of stuff. Um, so after you learn <laughs> your down, down, down strum, if you start learning something more complicated, you may have learned down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, 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 got six six hits in it right so it's the same as we've got six plucks in our pattern so we can use that same rhythm and we're not strumming all four strings this time now we're plucking one string at a time but the rhythm is the same so it goes like this Same rhythm. Bum, 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 bum. It's 
six plucks the same as when you're doing it in three. If I do it right. Anyway, that's that. So now that's my finger picking pattern. Uh, what I have been doing lately is adding some strumming to that. So there's a bit of strumming mixed with picking. A lot of you have heard me do that and have asked about that. So it's very simple. I start with that same finger picking pattern and that first thumb pick on the G string or the four string, I just substitute a strum. Usually I do it with my index finger, I think. I do a down strum. And then the rest of the other five plucks of the finger picking pattern I do. So I don't do the thumb pick, I do the strum instead. A down strum of all four strings with the index finger and then in middle index, thumb, middle index, strum, middle index, thumb, middle index, strum, middle index, thumb, middle index, strum, middle index, thumb, middle index. So it's exactly the same except instead of doing that, I'm doing that at the start of the pattern. Now sometimes I do it that way, sometimes I just do the straight finger picking the way you heard at the beginning. And sometimes I do a pattern that has two strums in it. It has an up strum right before that down strum at the beginning. So we just did a down strum at the beginning of the pattern. Actually, you could do down strums in the you can do a down strum in the middle too. You could substitute it for both thumb picks if you want. I don't think I do that as often, but you can do that. Um, but the main variation that I'll do on it is I'll do an up strum on the sixth pluck. So that's the last pluck of the six, right? I'll do an up strum instead of with the index finger, because I'm about to do a down strum with the index finger. So I do an up strum on the way to doing the down strum. Instead of, usually the sixth pluck in the pattern is with the index finger anyway. So instead of picking that second string, I'm doing an up strum with the same finger. So it goes. It's hard to talk through it and do it at the same time. Down, middle index, thumb, middle index, no, up. <laughs> Let me not talk through it. Strum, strum, up, down, up, down, up, down, pick, 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 so that's it. All right, so that is my finger picking pattern, my finger picking pattern with a down strum out at the beginning and my finger picking pattern with an up strum on the way to the down strum. Those are the three main variations that I do. <coughs> Occasionally I do other variations. I'll, uh, that rhythm might not fit <coughs> a particular song, even though the song is in four, it might want a different rhythm. I might find myself adding extra plucks in there or changing the rhythm around or I may, I don't know if I change the order of the strings occasionally, maybe, but you'll figure out for yourself once you, it might take a while to, if you want to learn this pattern, it might take you a while of playing that over and over and over again to really, you know, kind of own it before you, when I started, it was very awkward. It took me a while to master it and then be able to sing while doing it and all that other stuff that we like to do. And, talk and teach it to you at the same time, right? That's, none of these are, are things that happen immediately on the first day, so it may take you some practice. And um, that's cool, just play it a bunch and try different things. And you may find yourself like I did, that, that strum pick thing just started happening at some point. I did that finger picking pattern for all kinds of songs for probably close to a year. And then I started finding that I was throwing the strum in there. I didn't plan that, it just happened. I don't usually plan when I'm doing a particular song whether I'm gonna throw the strum in or the double strum or or not, or just do straight finger. I don't really think about it, it just kinda comes however it comes. But that's after, you know, playing this particular pattern for, at this point it's over a year, I've been doing it. Year, year, year and a quarter, year and a half, maybe I've been doing that pattern. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, so you know, if you play with it for a while, you'll, you may figure out your own variations or you may not. Um, but at any rate, have fun with that. Uh, I uh, have another video in the works for you on how to use that technique 
to do a fake solo. If you don't yet know how to do real solos in the left hand, you can use that to fake a solo. It's pretty cool. So that's a separate video. Watch for that. You gone.